Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk about what ammunition should you be stockpiling for the zombie apocalypse. Okay. Now I don't care how, how you know. However you fantasize the zombie apocalypse, whether it be a, a communist takeover, um, or whether it be you know Obama and Hillary uh, actually turn into real zombies and and are out eating people's brains um, and, and basically the, all the Democrats become zombies and they're eating people's brains so however you want to fantasize about that that's fine um, you know so you know but, but let's get to that. you know what ammunition should you be stockpiling um, and, and the first question I ask is how much ammunition should be stock should you have stockpiled okay uh, and, and what I'll usually tell people you should have a minimum of 2,000 rounds in reserve that you don't use okay and then you should have another 2,000 rounds uh, of ammunition that you have set aside uh, for practice ammo, okay? And, and of course, you can rotate it, uh, but, but you never want to get lower than that. You always want to have 2,000 rounds of, 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 of reserve and then 2,000 rounds of practice ammo. And like I said, that's the minimum, um, you know, depending on how, you know, uh, how much cash you have. I mean, you can, you know, you can go up from there, okay? Uh, so, that's, that, so that's the first thing I want to put out there. Now, the question becomes, what caliber? Should you be stockpiling okay um, and I'm gonna answer this uh, two ways okay uh, the first way is the easy way the simple way and I'm gonna tell you well look what ammunition the the military uses uh, because that's been tested and there's a, there's a reason why they use it um, so that you know so that's probably a good place to, to start okay and what do they use military basically uses 223 slash 556 in AR style rifles and they use 9 millimeter um, in, in, you know, either SIGs or Glocks or, you know, some, some you know, Berettas or some reliable um, platform, okay? So, so that's the easy answer, okay? Now let's get into, uh, you know, into the second part of this. You know, um, you know, what, again, what ammunition should you be stockpiling? Well, when you're stockpiling ammunition, there's two concerns, okay? Because it's, it's not, now it's, it's a question of storage, okay? There's volume and then there's weight, okay? Because your ammunition is going to take up a certain amount of volume, Okay, uh, and then there's also the uh, the weight issue, okay, because ammunition weighs on. Okay, um, so so I'm gonna go with the two extremes. I'm gonna go with the one that makes sense and the one that makes absolutely no sense. Okay, the one that makes sense, the most sense, two two three. Okay, um, now again, getting away from the fact that the military uses this and has been using this for 40 or 50 years. Okay, this box of 100 rounds of 223 okay when I put it on my scale here okay it weighs two and one half pounds okay so it's two and a half pounds for a hundred rounds okay at the other extreme I have 100 rounds of shotgun ammo okay 100 rounds of shotgun ammo nine and a half pounds okay so, it, so, so not only is this huge weight difference, but there's also a bulk difference. This takes up a lot more space than this, okay? Uh, so, so as far as stockpiling ammunition, that's a big concern, okay? That, that, that's a major concern, you know, how much it weighs. So if I need to move it around, I can move it around. Um, and, 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 and um, you know, how much space it will take to, to store it. And it's also a concern, of course, if you're carrying it on your body. You know, how many magazines are you going to carry, you know? Well, are you, are you going to carry 100 rounds of this, okay, or are you going to carry 100 rounds of this, okay? Uh, now, the typical loadout for most soldiers is 200 rounds. So, basically, the question is, do you want to carry almost 20 pounds of this, or do you want to carry 6 pounds, 7 pounds of this, okay? Um, so, th th so that's, that's a very important consideration, I, I, I think, when you're thinking about what ammunition that you would like to stockpile, okay? Um, now... Uh, another favorite is the the AK-47. Okay, now the AK-47 um, shoots a, a 30 caliber as opposed to a 223, and that that 30 caliber because it's a bigger bullet. Okay, it's a hundred, each bullet is 122 grains uh, as opposed to 55 grains. Okay, um, you know that that's going to weigh a little bit more. Okay, not a whole lot more, but a little bit more. So when I put that on my scale, okay, uh, I get three and a half pounds. So 100 rounds of 7.62 by 3.9, okay, weighs an extra pound, okay. Um, now you can get, let's say, an AK-74 that basically shoots uh, ammunition similar to, you know, to the 223, right? Uh, 
the issue that you have there is that they're less common rounds, okay? Even even AK rounds. I mean, basically, if you were living in North America uh, and there's a zombie apocalypse going on, um, you are more easily going to 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 find AR-15 ammunition, two two threes and five five sixes to replenish uh, your ammo supply. Then you're going to find anything else, okay? So that's also uh, an important consideration. Now, uh, let's look at uh, nine millimeters for a second. Again, a hundred rounds. Okay, here we go. Six and a half pounds. Okay. So, so again, the the two two three caliber, um, you know, is is the winner here. Okay, that's the lightest, and it takes up the less space. So even with a hundred rounds of that, compare hundred rounds of that to that. So any way you look at it, whether it's like this or like this. You know, this takes up less weight and less volume, okay? Um, so, so to me, that's a major consideration. Now, you're going to need a backup pistol, right? So basically, I would I would probably carry, you know, two magazines of, 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 of 9 millimeter, uh, you know, uh, for, for a, uh, a handgun, for a 9 millimeter handgun that I'd be carrying. Um, but I want to invest most of my, um, you know, most of my stockpile space uh, in 223 okay because that that that's what makes the sense both that's you know from every every which way you look at it uh, from the, from the direction of first of all it's pretty cheap okay uh, second from the direction of what it what you're gonna be able to most likely replenish down the road and also the, the rifle itself okay um, I mean I think AKs are great guns I, I, I practice with them all the time but um, you know you, you it's it's easier to find parts for AR-15s than it is for AKs uh, and also, AR-15s are easier to work on, okay? It's easier to take them apart uh, as opposed to AKs that have, like, these rivets. I mean, basically, you need, you know, you, you need uh, uh, equipment, more equipment to, to work on AK-47s compared to AR-15s, okay? Um, uh, oh, one more thing I want to talk about. How about reloading, okay? Over here on this side, let me move this stuff out of the way. On this side, I have my reloading material, okay? Um, got primers. I've got the powder here, and I've got bullets here. Heavy, okay? Um, but here's the thing. Weight-wise, see, here's, the point I'm trying to bring out here is that you're not saving anything by, by, by reloading as opposed to buying the actual ammunition. Now, there are benefits to reloading. I mean, um, if you reload very carefully, you can get greater consistency and slight, you know, and, and more accurate rounds, okay? And that, I mean, that's, that accuracy is not something that you're going to see um, you know, in, in 30 yards, it's something that's going to present itself out to like 100 yards. And, you know, again, we're talking about minor differences here. Um, so, but there, there are benefits to reloading, um, you know, especially in recreational shooting, in target shooting, in hunting, okay? Um, for, but for a zombie apocalypse, all right, I don't think there's a benefit to reloading. Um, first of all, volume-wise, you're still, you're still taking up a lot of space, Okay. Um, then there's also the, uh, you know, the, the, the weight factor doesn't change. I mean, bullets and brass, all that stuff, you know, still weighs the same, okay? Um, and, but then you also have the uh, thing that you got to actually do the work. You got to put this stuff together. Now, there's also the equipment, okay? Because now, in addition to the space for this stuff, now you need space for all your equipment, okay? Uh, you know, all the presses, all the dies, all, all that stuff, okay? Um, so, so you have the space and the weight of the equipment, okay? Um, you know, and, uh, you know, and then you also have the um, uh, the fact that you actually have to do the work to put this stuff together. Okay, so so you know, I, I'm not against reloading. I think it's great. I, I I like to reload for basically for expensive calibers. Okay, um, you know, I do not reload nines. I do not reload, you know, uh, two two three. You know, I don't reload three oh eights. All that stuff's cheap. Okay, you know, I'll reload like. You know, 357s, 44 Magnum, 454 Casul, you know, uh, 35 Remington. You know, that's the kind of stuff that I'll reload. And I'm and, and there there's an actual cost savings. Okay, uh, the, you know, I don't I I'm not going to save any money by reloading nine millimeter or 223. So I, I don't reload that stuff. Okay? Um, so, but that that's the issue. My, you know, if you're stockpiling for these for the zombie apocalypse, okay, you know, you know, if you want to reload, that's one thing. But don't don't buy this stuff. Uh, with the for, you know for the purpose of stockpiling, okay? That 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 stuff is not something that's going to be useful to you. Um, you're better off taking that same money and just buy, putting it into the actual ammunition. Uh, and and you know that's the winner right there, the two two three. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.